Hello. Well, let me see if this is working. Is this, is this coming out the way I want it to? Well, I said previously in previous videos that I was going to talk about a lot of other things outside of wrestling and MMA. And this is going to be a, a nice change of pace and probably an appropriate way of introducing another element to the channel. And I know Trencher, if I'm right, you were interested in hearing about this side of me. I know Kyle out there, he is interested in the same kind of thing as me. And I think quite a few of my subscribers are into this kind of stuff. And I have been into this kind of stuff. And I've got to make sure that I wrap it up quickly. And my introduction to talk about this world that we are interested in, and I think there's a lot of crossover with wrestling fans in this, is to talk about comic books. And obviously I'm a huge fan of comic books, and as you can see, the topic I am going to talk about is to do with what I'm wearing. And if you can see right now, I am wearing a Superboy Connor Kent t-shirt. And the reason why I am wearing this is because I want to talk about something I really got into over the last year that it has been cancelled and I want to talk about why I think it was a bad idea to cancel it. Now for any of you who have followed things that I have done on my channel or seen things that I, I talk about, you will know that I'm a huge fan of Superboy. Friends who know me will know, have had conversations with me will tell you that's all I talk about when it comes to comic books and I'm a huge fan of a lot of other people but I really like Superboy, the clone, I like the backstory, I like the angles that they've gone with him and the directions that they've gone with him and I became a huger fan of his when I saw Young Justice. Now that's what I want to talk about. I became a big big fan of a lot of characters in Young Justice and I kind of strayed away from the comic book world for a while and I started to get slowly brought back in over maybe the last four to five years and I'm a huge fan of Young Justice and when I saw the show for the first time I really got into this aspect it was like the Teen Titans but how the Teen Titans should have been presented not that really kiddie version that they had on the Cartoon Network this kind of was the Teen Titans just with a different title and I liked what they did they had the younger sidekicks of all the main superheroes of the Justice League and kind of gave them new life and new meaning and backstories and some character development and I really got interested in all of them in one way, shape or form. I loved what they did with Connor Kent. I loved that they had, he was a clone of Superman, much like in the comics. However, he's a clone that's been cloned up until about, about the age of 16, I, I think, or a teenage age, basically. Uh, and the Young Justice members, Kid Flash, Dick Grayson as Robin and Aqualad, uh, find him in Project Cadmus and he starts off very very angry and he's always angry to be honest with you throughout the whole two seasons uh, and I liked what they did with him and the subtle storytelling whether it was the relationship with Miss Martian uh, and the things that they did there with those two how he already knew about her true white Martian form but he loved her anyways and he wanted to stay with her and the relationships they did there. I really liked the subtle storyline that they did with him and Superman, uh, where Superman was kind of dismissive of him. And I thought that was very interesting, and I'll tell you what, they, they, they went straight to that from the first episode, when Superman came down, when they got him out of Cadmus, and he looked up, because he heard of him, but he's never seen him, because you know he's had that information transmitted into his brain, but he's never seen the sun, he's never seen you know, normal civilian life, or superhero civilian life. And he sees Superman, and obviously the shirt's kind of ripped, and when he pulls it up, Superman looks horrified, like, like disturbed by it. And he's kind of looking at him, and then Bruce Wayne even says as Batman, is that what I think it is? And I like the story where Superman was kind of dismissive of him and distant with him, and barely would give him the time of day, perhaps because he felt threatened by him in some ways. And I liked the way that that dynamic was building. I liked what they did with Artemis, uh, Artemis Croc this time, if I've said it right, not the Wonder Woman version of Artemis that was in the Wonder Woman comics, if I believe. I liked the backstory that they had with her and Cheshire, and I really got into that when they explained that they were the children of Huntress and Sportsmaster, and when Huntress got injured and the dad went to jail, Cheshire walked out on her little sister and they showed the flashback there and it, again it kind of 
added something and I got very into Artemis and Cheshire and I've never been that into them as separate characters in the DC universe but that backstory which was different from anything in the comics really got me into it and it kind of explained things I'm like oh wow this is interesting and there's like a, a rivalry there but Cheshire will not kill her sister and Artemis will not kill her sister even though there's this tension there and I liked when they did the flashback and it shows Cheshire just walk out on her because she'll be a hindrance to her uh, I thought Dick Grayson looked awesome in Young Justice I loved how he was presented uh, and I'll tell you another one I really liked I liked what they did with Miss Martian obviously with the Superboy relationship but I liked how they had explain that her powers could go to a significantly high level when they did that training uh, exercise and they explained that her telepathic powers actually made the situation very very real to everyone to the point where it put people in states of shock and they genuinely believed that you know Artemis had died uh, and speaking of Artemis I liked what they did with Kid Flash I thought that he was a, a very popular character a very funny character woman obsessed as a teenage boy would be at that time and I like what they did with him and Artemis where it looked like they didn't like each other but they were really harboring feelings for each other and then they end up together and I liked what they did there I didn't like what happened with them later on when they killed off Kid Flash although there's a theory about what really happened there but I'm gonna say Kid Flash has been killed we've seen him you know cease basically uh, and I liked what they did with Aqualad and I think with all the characters Aqualad was the one that benefited the most from that because he was really built up as a very effect effective and strategic leader uh, and I really got into him and I was never really into Aqualad before Caldur uh, in the Aquaman series uh, prior to this I mean I, I was aware of him but I really liked what they did with him and I, I think they made him cool it was a younger hipper more trendy version of Aqualad and he had some cool weapons and he just came off like the guy that's going to lead the Justice League into the future or the Young Justice into the future when they become the Justice League and I really liked what they did with him and I felt that that added some new life to his character to the point where I'm interested in them doing some stories with him and I felt that they'd done so much in the first seasons I liked the way that it was produced I loved the way that it was animated I loved the storytelling I loved where things were going I really got into all the characters and I thought it was a good way to get young fans into these characters so that they become long-term fans and people like me who kind of strayed away back into it and it kind of breathed new life into these characters so I got so into it and I, I mean you have to really be a fan to kind of find out how to get it. Uh, because they barely promoted it over here too to tell you the truth I don't know what it's like stateside but I heard it wasn't promoted very effectively so you had to keep going for it but apparently it was doing very well and then they cancelled it now when I heard that they had cancelled it I was really bummed out they ended on some cliffhangers they ended on some very interesting storyline or potential storylines that they could go with uh, and I wanted more as a fan I wanted more and I don't know if everyone else wanted more I'm assuming so because everyone has done a video saying bring back Young Justice bring it back uh, and I, I mean what they replaced it with Beware of the Batman and I mean yeah I like Batman but another Batman cartoon really I like Batman and Young Justice it's a different dynamic and a different take on Batman uh, there were so many new characters that could eventually arrive on Young Justice if they did a season 3 obviously we had Dark Side I can't even say right Dark Seed Dark Side Dark Seed we had him being introduced towards the end of that season we had acknowledgement of Jason Todd dying uh, because his image was at the bottom of the training center and you can see it there and perhaps at some point we were going to see Red Hood we had Dick Grayson leave the Young Justice uh, and he wants to go it alone but also he was affected by his friend's death so he kind of went his own way we had the reformation of Miss Martian and Superboy and how's that gonna last now all these things have happened and all these storyline developments have happened plus you had all the new characters the Blue Beetle you had Wonder Girl uh, the new Robin uh, Tim Drake in in the mix it was and Batgirl as well it was very interesting and I thought it was a good way to breathe life into the secondary characters to the main characters and they stopped it and I don't know why they stopped it I've heard different reasons as to why I heard that in America it was not on the best time slot which did hurt it even though it did a pretty decent rating I heard another theory that Young Justice came about as part of a project 
when the Green Lantern film came out uh, about two years ago and it was believed if they do two cartoons attached to this Green Lantern project with the Green Lantern in theory has a successful film debut that they can cash in on that with these two shows unfortunately what happened was the Green Lantern film was not successful I know some of my subscribers out there really like Green Lantern and I'm not sure how they felt about the film but I wasn't really that into it unfortunately uh, and the film didn't do as well the Green Lantern cartoon didn't do as well and the Young Justice package which Young Justice which I believe was a part of that package was a casualty as a result that's one theory that I've heard from Black Nerd Rants uh, if you've ever watched him you know Black Nerd Rants that guy uh, and that's one of the theories I've heard and it's a shame because I think that series has a lot of potential I think it could have been promoted more effectively because that's what I've been hearing and I know over here I just happened to stumble across it really because I was looking for some Superboy memorabilia and then I found it one day uh, I think it could have been promoted more effectively and I think that there was so much potential and so much more to do with that show and it hadn't hit that plateau yet and it was ended prematurely and it's a shame that that's the case so what am I saying Warner Brothers please 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 pull your heads out of your asses you've got Ben Affleck as Batman you've done God knows you're trying to rush a Justice League film listen forget that bring back Young Justice your fans want it now this is another fan demanding Young Justice please 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 I'm begging you bring back Young Justice and I've heard from writers of that show that if you want Young Justice we're gonna have to spend some money on some merchandise because if we spend the money allegedly they will see it as oh it's still got life financially apparently they don't care about the ratings so long as people are paying for their merch and again the merch wasn't you know promoted very effectively I didn't even know they had um, Young Justice stuff but apparently that's one way and there's potential that a season 3 could happen and if there's a chance I hope I hope to God that they bring it back because it was an effective show I could talk about why where the show went flawed, uh, skipping fast forward to five years, there were some things that took a while to develop and I think fans got a bit impatient in certain areas, but all in all that was a great show, I want it back, I don't want another Teen Titans show, I don't want another Beware of the Batman show, I don't want another Superman show, I want Young Justice and in addition to that, some point Warner Brothers, you have to make a Superboy film after this Man of Steel package is done, you have to make a Superboy film. Anyways, I'm out different take on things let me know what you think do any of you actually watch that show did any of my subscribers back in the day watch any of those kind of shows whether it's batman the animated series the x-men anything like that or the iron man and fantastic four cartoons let me know if you watched any of that and let me know what you think about superhero cartoons and superhero films what films you want to see rebooted what characters you want to see have films whether it's the silver surfer the fantastic four reboot uh, Guardians of the Galaxy which I'm really pumped for let me know what you think of that and more importantly if this is the first time you've come here comment rate subscribe honey I love you well done for passing your exams uh, and yeah take care guys and peace